to Ukraine and Russia say all women, children, and the elderly who were seeking shelter at a steel plant in Mariupol have been evacuated. It's been under siege for weeks. Today in the West, the city of Odessa came under new Russian fire, hit by at least six missiles. CBS's Deborah Pata is in Kyiv tracking all of these developments. In the skies above Moscow, fighter jets rehearse flying in a Z formation, touting victory in Ukraine. But in the country they invaded, it is ridiculed. The bodies of Russian soldiers killed on the battlefield in Kharkiv arranged in a mocking Z. Vladimir Putin's war is not going to plan. In Mariupol, astoundingly, the city's defenders are still barricaded in the steel mill, refusing to surrender. Women, children and the elderly have all now been evacuated from the plant. Not only does Putin have little to show for more than two months of fighting, he stands accused of war crimes. To date, nearly 10,000. Street by street, Alexei Komandirov and his team use drones to film shattered homes. 3D animations are created to identify structural damage, proof of Russian troops targeting residential neighborhoods. And behind many of these broken walls lived families. Imagine children were playing here. And now look at it, just destroyed. This was a new playground, he told us. And with one explosion, it's all gone. And then there is the human toll. Allegations of rape, torture and civilian executions. It's become a daily ritual in towns and villages across the country exhuming the bodies of those killed by Russian forces. This man was buried in a rudimentary coffin by local residents who found his charred body in a burnt-out car. Today, his widow Natalia came to identify him. They called him Vadim. One more name to add to an ever-growing list of atrocities. Deborah Powder, CBS News, Kiev, Ukraine. The 19th 